when we look at the world, we see what's there. We see reality. This will soon change. Several sophisticated technologies that each amplify the other are simultaneously reaching maturity. Things like artificial intelligence, augmented reality, computer vision, natural language processing, semantic scene understanding. Together, these technologies are bringing us to a tipping point that will change the way we perceive the world. Digital systems will be able to recognize and understand the world around us and embed contextualized information directly in our vision that's so useful and so powerful that it will be adopted by the masses and lead to a fundamental change in how we interact with our environments. Now, what is this contextualized information? This could be anything from images, audio, video, to something very sophisticated, like 3D animated, perhaps intelligent digital models that are embedded and directly blended into the world around us. Now, we've been working uh, for the past years on augmented reality in this area, and we're very excited to show you some of this work today. One aspect that I think few people understand in the area of augmented reality is that in the future, we won't have one single digital overlay on top of the real world. We won't have two. We will have hundreds, thousands, millions. And this comes because of a democratization in technology for content creation, allowing the 50 million current content creators on YouTube to create content in augmented reality, or the two million people currently streaming on Twitch. So in the future, in whatever situation we're in, we'll have access to different lenses with which to view the world that enhance the reality we see and also bring us closer to other people who have experienced that same reality. So that's my vision of the future, but the future doesn't just happen in one instant. The future comes from the present. And I'd like to show you a demo of what we can do today that hints at this future vision. The project was born from a presentation I gave in 2016 on the same stage. So there I spoke about augmented reality and its potential to impact creativity. Christoph Bury was in the audience. Christoph works for the LGT group. This is a private uh, banking group owned by the Princely family of Liechtenstein. And the Princely family, they've been art collectors for hundreds of years and have a world-class private art collection that's exhibited internationally. There's one challenge, however. Their collection focuses on the old masters. And compared well to Impressionism or modern art, the old masters, for many people, can be less accessible, a little bit more difficult to understand. So we had the question, could augmented reality help in this situation? So after TEDx, we had a kickoff meeting with my team at the ETH Game Technology Center, uh, along with our colleagues at LGT and the Princey Collections. And this meeting was really fantastic. Johan Krefner, the director of the Princey Collections, gave us a tour. And for every piece of art in the collection, he had this amazing story to tell, these colorful, interesting anecdotes that really made the art come to life. Sometimes the story was about the subject of the painting. Sometimes it was about the artist who painted it or the circumstances with which the piece had been collected by the family or even the history where this painting had traveled over the past few hundred years but always interesting. The problem is, for most visitors in a museum, these stories are not available. So the visitor sees a portrait on the wall, and that's it. So we became very excited about using augmented reality to bring the story of art to life and to introduce young people and new audiences to the old masters. And I'd like to show you the prototype app that we've developed to give a hint towards what's possible in this space. So I can now mirror my iPad on the screen. So now you're seeing a mirror of my iPad's camera. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> there we go. So let's start with this painting by 
Rubens of his daughter, Clara Serena. So when I approach the painting, the system recognizes it and displays additional information. So with augmented reality, we can include commentary using AR to enhance the uh, content. 1616. This portrait by Rubens of his five-year-old daughter, Clara Serena, is one of the most touching child portraits in the history of European art. The disarming directness of the child's gaze is exceptional. It expresses the intimate relationship between father and daughter. Rubens masterfully employs color to capture the vivacity of the child's face. Against the grayish green of the background and of the child's clothing, the warm coloration of the flesh tones is particularly striking. So I can also contextualize this painting by displaying other pieces, other works of the same subject painted at different times in her life, morphing between them, and even expand to view this whole piece, which is uh, bigger than the original version of Clara. So that's an example of using augmented reality to enhance the subject <laughs> of the artwork. The next example, I'd like to show you another fascinating aspect um, of art, this time the restoration process. So this is a painting by Mansuetti. It was produced in the year 1499, meaning it's 500 years old. And in this time, it's undergone several phases of restoration. And we can use augmented reality to help visualize that process. I can, in essence, go back in time and see earlier versions of that painting. And here, this is the first known photographs. If I flip back and forth, you can see the version of the painting before and after. Before and after a restoration process that happened in the year 1891. Now, some fascinating things also come to light. If I move forward and kind of zoom in on this archway, you see there's a faint figure coming out of the arch facing us. With new technology, in 2005, the restoration artists actually could understand that the original intent when the painting was first made was for this figure to be facing into the painting, not towards us. And if I now zoom to the most recent version after this 2005 restoration, we see the figure is facing inward. I can flip back and forth and you can see the difference. So augmented reality helps us to uncover and understand this mysterious figure in the doorway, which I think makes this piece much more interesting and much more engaging. So for the last example, I'd like to show another piece by Rubens. This is a painting of his sons, Albert and Nicholas. This is one of the most valuable in the collection, but also one of the most delicate, because it's produced, it's painted on a series of seven wooden panels that are glued together without reinforcement. And we can use augmented reality to visualize the structure of the painting in a way that we never could in real life because it's simply too delicate. Now, the younger boy, uh, Nicholas, is holding this bird on a string, common in the time, but considering his melancholic expression, many people interpret this bird to symbolize the fleeting nature of life, included because the boy's mother had passed away shortly before the painting was made. We can add emphasis to this poignant aspect of the painting by making this bird come to life. When I tap on this icon, you see the bird flies out of the painting and lands on the frame. I can tap the bird with my finger, and he always evades, he always runs away, never to be captured again. So this is a few examples of the way we can use augmented reality to enhance art. The demos I showed, plus several others, are in an exhibition we have here um, near the entrance, so please check it out. There's one fa fantastic demo I didn't show. Just as a quick teaser, we have a video. This is Susini's pacing horse statue, and in our exhibition, we use augmented reality to bring this statue to life um, in a really fantastic, exciting, and amazing way, so please check it out. We're also using our app to enhance the TEDx Museum 
So with augmented reality, you can learn more information about previous speakers. So thank you very much.